Hey guys, it's your girl Barbie B and welcome back to Barbie's World. Today I have a really good review slash install for you all and we're just going to jump right into it. Um, I believe this wig was a 13 by 5 or 13 by 6 but you see it has very deep parting space in the middle as long as well as along the sides. Um, it comes with two combs three combs two on the side one in the bottom and it also came with a really cool adjustable strap like it's not just the adjustable straps that i'm showing you right there but the actual strap right there that's attached to the wig it has extra hooks in it so you can make it as tight as you want um this unit came pre-plucked as you can see they did not do a bad job definitely beginner friendly where you won't have to do a lot of work and for the girlies that know how to pluck and like to pluck even more you already have a really good guide to go by um this wig was from the janet collection i've never tried a wig from the janet collection and let's just say i was thoroughly surprised and pleased this is the curl pattern of the wig fresh out of the pack and it was so beautiful on when i say the compliments that I got with this hair, people saying, oh my God, your hair is so pretty. Oh my God, it looks like your real hair. Or, oh my God, I love your hair. It was just unbelievable. And I'm definitely about to add one right to my cart again after I make this video. Because it's been, what, maybe a month or a month and a half since I had this hair. But I did wear it for a very long time. I even switched the um, style that I did with this hair. I did a half up, half down. I did a middle part. I did a side part. I threw it up in a claw clip like I literally did everything to this hair like it was my hair and for a synthetic unit like it held up so well and I believe this wig was only $40. Um, I don't believe they have it on Amazon but I will put a link below to the website that I got it from which was one of the beauty supply or um, the wig websites right here. I was just um, putting some wax stick on the baby hairs and using my comb to work that in and push all of the hair back so that I can cut the lace off. Um, I noticed a lot of people and saw their wigs differently, but for me personally, and I think for a beginner, it would be also pretty easy if you cut the lace first. For some reason, when I cut the lace first, my installs are like just they just go so much better and they end up being even more flawless but i just have not yet mastered cutting the lace while it's actually on your head and you're installing so shout out to the girlies that can do it like that because i definitely am not but yeah this is basically how i cut it off i cut it as close to the hairline as possible because you don't need all of that lace just peeping at the front of your head while you're wig on now people looking like oh shoot what's that all in your business and stuff you know so like yeah no cut that joint all the way all the way back right here i'm just putting the glue on the perimeter of my um head as you can see i'm not using a lot of glue um then when that glue dried clear all i did was pull the lace forward and i placed the lace onto the clear glue and remember until you blow dry it down or you use your spray to melt it in you can always lift that lace move it see how you like it adjust it as such to your head because everyone does not have the hair same hairline as well as the same head shape mine's is different from yours is different from my cousin is different from my sister so yeah, after I get it basically placed where I want it placed, I go in with my blow dryer and the rat tail comb and look, this is how it was looking. And for me right there, that was okay, but it wasn't melted enough for me. So then I'll just go in, I'll put that, I'll tie it down and then I'll spray my olive oil spray. And someone asked me in one of my comments on my other video, why do you use the olive oil spray? It basically helps melt the lace into your skin and get it to look very um very natural very invisible as in what lace and you can see right here like nobody couldn't tell me nothing i didn't even have my makeup on yet i didn't even like blur out m the edges even more with my foundation and it was already looking how i wanted it to look um with this wig i started to well with this wig was the first time I did my hair with no baby hairs. I literally just cut a little bit of hair down on the side to give me some sideburns. But for every install, 
reinstall that I did with this wig. I did no baby hairs because that is just simply how great the hairline was. And I wanted to see like, I feel like all my installs, I've always done baby hairs. And for they also take a long time. Like doing the no baby hair thing, like these wigs, I was getting them on and off. Like I'm on a wig maybe, but three or four and doing no baby hairs. I did my hair today a different style. It's the jet black with some platinum blonde streaks. Can't wait to show you guys that. But I think I'm going to add some baby hairs today because I feel like this one just calls for it. But watch how this um, end result comes out with no baby hairs. You guys let me know if you like it. I actually love it. Um, I just feel like it looked more natural, more like, you know, like it was my hair. But um, right here, I just basically curled them back so that I can get a good little swoop on the two sideburns that I left out. And what I was doing with that spritz was basically taking away that like dried up white looking outer liner of the lace. And that's what the spritz does. It kind of just makes it melt into your skin even more. Um... When I was still doing my baby hairs and what I've been using re as of recently is this got to be, um, sorry, I'm having a brain fart <laughs> that got to be like gel, but in the yellow container and with some mousse. And when you mix those two together, I don't know, it just gets your baby hairs and your swoops on your edges to lay so much better and not be like all stiff and crunchy. If you know, you know, it just gave a softer look. Um, right here, I had installed the wig and I went out and then I was like, um, I feel like I kind of want to pluck just a little bit more. And I did that for the sake of, because I didn't have any baby hairs, I wanted it to look even more natural. So the next day when I was about to go out, I was like, all right, my hair was already pinned up and everything. I just started going crazy plucking on the one side of the part because on my part is on my right side. So the left side of my hair, you can't really see it because the wig was kind of down on that side. But the side that did show the most, I actually went in and plucked a little bit. Not a lot. I said excessive, but not that much. I pluck, 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 and you'll see the end results. Right here, I was just using my foundation to basically, um, a little bit of my concealer, excuse me, to basically get it to blur any harsh, visible, like, lace. Like, you can see the difference from that side to the side I'm about to work on right now. And, yeah. Um, what can I say about this wig? This wig is a 10 out of 10. As I said, I never tried the Janet collection before and I was thoroughly pleased. Um, 10 out of 10 for this wig for the price. It lasted so long. I still have the wig right now and I'm going to revamp it because the curls are just still living through it. Like I've had synthetic wigs where the curls drop. Like, and really, if you think about it, they kind of shouldn't unless you flat iron them or like you're actually putting heat to it. The curls shouldn't go anywhere. And the curls on that wig, all they did was loosen and just fall in a, but a still defined kind of way, if that makes sense. Um, this wig was everything. Um, on my TikTok, the girls were like, they were eating me up because I was not saying where the wig was from because I was trying to get this video out as well as while I'm filming other videos of new hairs. It's just hard to keep track of everything. And they got to remember, your girl ain't sponsored yet, but I will be. I'm going to speak it into existence because what God has for me, it is for me. But um, yeah, this is the wig. Everyone was asking about it. It's definitely everything it looks like in the pictures and more. Get yourself this wig. This is me right here trying to clean up that side. I told you that would be more visible. And mind you, I'm like plucking super hard. So the lace started to come a little, a little bit. And I was like, ooh. But all I did was put a little um, free spray on my finger and tie it down. And then yeah came right back to life but as you can see it didn't do much but it did enough if that makes sense but yeah you guys as i'm sitting here rambling and going on and on i noticed that this is probably my longest video talking and who for someone that likes to talk i'm out of breath you guys so just like comment and subscribe 
it's, it's really, you know, that easy. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. I know y'all got some friends that need hair tips. I know y'all got some friends that never know what to do with their hair. Where to start? Send them my way so we can get them together. Um, I appreciate all the love and support that I've received so far. You guys are amazing. To my loved ones that stay rocking, stay commenting, stay liking, stay sharing my videos. Y'all the real ones. I can't wait till I make it. Uh, yeah, I'm sending peace and love to everyone that watched this video. And I hope you guys are staying safe out there and, you know, taking care of yourself and taking care of your health. And, you know just giving thanks to God all the time. Thanks you guys for watching this video. Here's the end result. It was beautiful. As I said, if you want to see more footage on this hair, you can go to either one of my social medias. Um, everything is linked below. And yeah, don't forget to share this video, like, comment.